Okay, so I'm here joined by manager Paul Jones at Litherland. Um, Paul, it's been a tough couple of games for us, you know, very close games. Unfortunately, come away from both with nothing. What are your thoughts on today? Um, well, to remember the good things that we did in both of those games, because there was lots of very good bits, um, and, and then just tighten up on the, the areas that we know have, have cost us, really, which are our, our own doing rather than, um, you know, obviously both opposition of, of you know, won games and, and, and done well in terms of what they've done but I think you know we look at ourselves and I think all the goals we've conceded in the last couple of games has been you know goals that we we could do more to prevent and um, so yeah like the, the players are, are confident we're actually playing well um, we're just not getting over the line and getting the points and you know uh, we can't promise we're going to win the game of football today because not everything is within our control but what we can control is our attitude and effort and um you know, trying our hardest to do, to do what we're, we're attempting to do to, to keep improving. So, yeah, fingers crossed we, we can put a good performance out. And obviously today's squad, a uh, lot of changes for you. It's one of the things you have to, you've dealt with regularly since you've been in this job, but a lot of younger faces in today, you know, the likes of Ben Wasser, Harley Jackson, Ethan comes into the fold, they all come into the fold for the first time today yeah. this season. Behind that, what's your thinking behind that? Why, why have you not took any more of the senior players? Are these lads deserving more of it? Or they've done, they've done great, like that, and that's why we've kind of got the smaller squad. So if there's 22 first team squad players, then you know we, we're kind of out of availability in terms of you know get, being able to be able to get people away. Um, Luke's carrying a bit of a knock. Um, Alex, Jack, and Danny aren't available. And, and then you're looking at the, the group that we brought in that are kind of in between the first team squad and the really young group. And these guys who are at Jahali and Ben have, have done excellent in the in pre-season and when they've been involved with us. And, you know, it's only fair to, to give them an opportunity when we've got spaces in their sort of positions in the squad. So, like, we, we've got full confidence in them. They've trained with us a lot, so they know what we're, we're trying to do. Um, and, yeah, it's a great, like, Boothie who came away on, on Tuesday night. It's an opportunity to expose them to this level of football. and. Um, you know, part of having a smaller squad means that there'll be times this season where we have two, three, four, maybe at times, um, younger younger members. Um, you know, Tom Creer couldn't train Thursday night, so, you know, that's probably ruled him out because um, he wasn't feeling well. So, you know, there's, there's other people around that, that are familiar faces that, for whatever reason, we can't quite uh, bring away. But these guys have been excellent, so uh, I've got no qualms in the being here, and they're here to hopefully play a part in the game, not just to sit and watch and I guess some time. Yeah, and talking to the sun, it's a, it's a lovely day. We obviously come over on the boat this morning um, with a big load of fans as well. What it mean, obviously, sunny afternoon here, it's not chucking it down, just to have that following come with us as well. It's incredible. Um, you know, we were on the boat, you know, the the um, ever confident Evertonians, but we're obviously on the boat away on their day trip to watch Everton play. And, you know, we're not far away from matching their sort of levels coming away to watch FC Man. And, you know, when we started the club, we, we hoped that would someday get to that sort of level, but we didn't envisage it to be quite so soon. Um, and Bruce and the 12th man and, you know, everyone else has been involved as put a lot of effort and time into that which doesn't go unnoticed by us and certainly is hugely appreciated by the players and, and myself and the other the other coaches um so no we're like we owe them performance uh, oh, so we owe them a result um, i think our performances as i say have been pretty decent on the whole and um, we just haven't got over the line so hopefully we get both today we get the performance in the way that we're trying to play and also get three points and, and hopefully we can be um all smiling and, and celebrating uh, after the game with them and, and on the boat home. All right, Paul, cheers for your time and good luck this afternoon. Cheers. cheers.